Hi students, coming to next topic that is input output processor. So input output processor is nothing but uh, it is a processor with direct memory accessing capabilities. So that means it has the ability to access the memory directly without the CPU involvement. In this, the computer system is divided into memory unit and the number of processors. Here, in each input-output processor, it controls and manages the I.O. tasks. So, whatever the I.O. tasks that are coming from external devices, that will be managed by this input-output processor. So, what this I.O.P. will do, it can fetch and execute its own instructions. So, whatever its own instructions that are coming from input output means that, that are coming from peripheral devices or that are that is taking from memory unit can be execute, fetch and executes its own instructions. These input output processor instructions are designed to manage I/O transfers only. So, what it can do, this input output processor can only do the I/O transfers whatever the input output transfers of data or the execution of instructions that will be take care by this input output processor. So let us see the block diagram of this input output processor. So this is a memory unit, central processing unit CPU, the processor which uh, having the capabilities like processing, decision and calculations. And this is the input output processor. It connects to uh, one or more peripheral devices okay and this is a memory bus system bus will be connected so here the memory unit occupies a central position and communicates with each processor so it occupies a central position and it is uh, communicate with the cpu as well as to the uh, input output processor and coming to the cpu cpu process the data register uh, data required for solving the computational task so what it does uh, it process the data required so it processes the data required. So whatever the data required for solving, for solving the computational task. So if you want to solve any problem, uh, means uh, some task will occur, means the data that is related to that computational task will be, uh, this CPU is having that data requirement. So the CPU processes the data required for solving the computational task. Now coming to the input output processor. It provides a path for transfer data between peripherals and memories. So it acts as an interfacing between these peripheral devices as well as from memory unit. So this input output processor provides a path. It providing a path for transfer of data between peripheral devices and memory. So what it does actually? So first CPU assigns a task of uh, initiating I/O uh, input output program. Suppose the CPU is having some program that is coming from uh, that has to be done by uh, do the input output program is there in the CPU. So it has to do that work. What the CPU will do? First CPU will assign the task of initiating I/O P program to the input output processor. Okay, it sends the uh, I.O. program. So whatever the I.O. program that has to be uh, done by the CPU has to do by the CPU that will be sent to the that will be assigned that work to the input output processor. How will it assign? The input output processor operates independent from CPU. So and transfers data between peripherals and memory. We already know that. Okay. So the CPU assigns the task of initiating the operations but it is the input output processor who executes the instruction. So it executes the instructions and not the CPU. So whenever the CPU assigns the work to the input output processor, then the input output processor has the capability uh, to execute the instructions. So here the CPU, if CPU access, if CPU access master, if it is a master, then IOP will be slave. 
so this is a slave processor just take these two are the processors both are having the processing capabilities so whenever the cpu is acting as a master means it is doing the operations then this input output processor will act as a slave it doesn't do anything so whenever the cpu is slave means when it will slave whenever it handovers the uh, assigns the task or handovers the system bus to any of the processor it becomes a slave now at that time whenever it is slave this input output processor will acts as the master okay here the instructions that are read from memory by input output processor are called commands so the input output processor wants to read the commands so those commands will be present actually present in the memory so in the memory the command words will be present means uh, who created these command words a programmer the programmer means ourselves means we are the programmers we create a command words and place it in the memory okay so the input output processor has to read uh, the command words from the in uh, memory so these command words are prepared by the programmer and stored in the memory so first the cpu informs the iop where the where to find commands in memory okay so first what that we uh, it will do first cpu so cpu informs informs to iop to take the command words to take the command words from memory so why the input output processor wants to take the command words from memory because to perform the operation so the command words itself indicates that it have what operation this input output processor has to do that will be present on the command words okay so the whenever the cpu issues a uh, signals to the input output processor then now the cpu becomes slave and iop becomes master so whenever it issues the command uh, signals to the iop to take the command words from memory unit now the iop will take the word from memory unit and executes the instruction so whenever this operation is over again it sends a signal back to the cpu that work is finished by interrupting by sending interrupt signal by sending by sending interrupt signal so whenever it sends the uh, interrupt signal to the cpu whenever uh, this iop work is over now the cpu becomes the master okay so just like a direct uh, dma direct memory access this input output processor will also do the same work so whenever the cpu uh, is issues the signals to the input output processor to perform the task so now the input output processor becomes the master and it is having the processing capability to execute the instructions so it takes the data from means the like command words from memory unit and performs the operation and executes the result and will be sent to the peripheral devices or to the again to the memory so whenever this work is over again it sends a signal back to the cpu that uh, means interrupting the cpu uh, by saying that uh, uh, execution is over now the cpu becomes a master and performs the other tasks okay thank you